TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on the 17th of September, Tuesday, 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. We've made an official leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology in the S&P. Remember, this is the whole technique. I'll discuss it when we get back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Let's go to the S&P, the S&P right now. So the Dow is up uh, 50 at 41,670 uh, all-time high. We've got the S&P taken out the highs of um, late August, that little double top peak C1, C2, and now we've got an official leg D, but I have to say it could be an A. So we've got a leg D um, in that cup and handle formation in the S&P as well. So everything tells me that regardless of what the Fed does, it says tomorrow, we've got to be ready for some kind of some kind of a pullback. It could be just a breather, a good day or two. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, the QQQ is at 475.36, or up 2.12, still way under the last high, which is way below the, the major high. Let's go to the IWM. The Russell 2000 is up $1.21 at 218.81. Yep, it's got to that 218 level. Can it get to 222 by tomorrow before the Fed speak? And then we'll see what happens. We'll see. Let's go to the gold. Gold right now is down about six points at uh, 2602. I've got this as a peak C potential today if there's no new recovery high from yesterday. And then maybe there's one quick pop to a leg D. And then we take a breather here in the gold as well. Let's go to the dollar just for the moment and see what's happening there. Ah, the dollar's got a little bit of a rally up 19 ticks at 100.845. It's got that arch formation that I spoke about yesterday. Let's go to bonds. This is really important. The bonds right now are, in fact, uh, down 8.30 seconds, going to a leg E in the um, daily chart, so making higher highs. So the yields are coming down. We'll see if that holds all the way through tomorrow afternoon. We've got the uh, crude oil up again, up 80 cents at 70.87. So we're about to go to the Tiger Technician's Hour. There's a lot to discuss. I've written down a whole thing. You'll be surprised. You'll be amazed if you, when you see what's happened to the S&P, the S&P value, the S&P uh, low volatility, they're doing slightly different things. Low volatility is making highs. Can you believe that? So we've got a break coming up. And before we go to the break, I'll just do the VIX index. So here we go. VIX index is um, up 11 ticks at 17.25. Hmm, it's holding that uh, two 